They broke the toilet downstairs and upstairs. They broke the sink. Dean and Lorenda Southern were coming home from a vacation the Canada Day long weekend when they were notified that their home had been broken into and completely destroyed. Every window was smashed, all the doors broken and appliances beaten. Graffiti even sprayed on the walls along with a broken furnace and central air conditioning unit. They threw everything out, um, destroyed the walls, uh, light fixtures, lights. Um, it, it seemed um, very planned. Besides hitting every wall and door, the culprits targeted bathroom toilets and sinks too. They broke out the edges of the outlets. The couple had sold their property in Brooks and were just days away from relocating their home to Drumheller when the malicious destruction took place. And we found out a lot of bad news within a very short period of time and it's been very difficult to deal with. Their nightmare didn't stop there. The pair discovered they didn't have any insurance to cover the cost of damages. The house mover had told us that he had insurance, but unfortunately uh, we found out after our house was vandalized that it was only on structure, not on the actual vandalism. With plans now halted of eventually turning the home into their dream retirement property, the couple is left wondering why they were the target and still have no answers as to who destroyed their home. We're not sure uh, what our future looks like now in, in rebuilding this, but uh, we would really appreciate if anybody knows anything about the case that they would let the RCMP know and, and Brooks. RCMP are investigating and a GoFundMe page has been set up with over $17,000 raised so far to help cover the cost of damages. For Bridge City News, I'm Angela Stewart.